Hi, welcome back to Mastering Groups, and today we are going to look at uh, a primary five question on volume. Uh, so let's look at this question to find out what is uh, what are the difficulties that students will make when they do this kind of question. So if you look at this question, uh, you can see that you are asked to find the least number of unique cubes that must be added to the figure below to form a cube. Uh, so a few things that you have to know in order to do, do this question. Number one, you will need to uh, know how to count the number of cubes. So there is an effective way to count the how many cubes inside. So you look at columns. So this figure is actually made of columns. Uh, you can look at the corner. There are two cubes which make up this column at the corner. And then there are another two cubes that make up this next column. And the rest of the cubes are single units. Okay, They are just one each. So you just put the number of cubes on top. And then you add them together. So you have 2, 4, uh, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So there are 11 cubes that make up this uh, solid figure. Alright, so that's number one. Now, number two, you must know the properties of a cube. So a cube means that uh, you have equal sides. All the sides are equal. Uh, and you also can say that uh, a giant cube, right? A cube can make can be made of equal number of unique cubes on every side. For example, if I want to use the unique cubes to make a, a bigger cube, then every side of this bigger cube must have equal number of smaller cubes. So how do I know how many cubes do I need? to make up this giant cube. You look at the solid figure on the left side, you can see that over here, there are how many cubes? There are three cubes. And then over here, there are four cubes. But how do you know that? You count, right? You count like one, two, three, four. So the four cubes form one side of this solid figure. And, uh, and then over here, another three cubes that form the other side of the solid figure. And how about the height? The height of this solid figure is made of how many cubes? It's made of two. All right, and if you look at all these numbers carefully, all right, uh, they are not equal. They are all different. So then what do I do? I look at the biggest number, which is four, and I actually put over here, all right? And then I do the same for all the other sides of the bigger cube. So which means that how many, how many small cubes do I need to form this bigger cube? So you have four times four times four, all right? So that will be, uh, in total, how many small cubes? I will need 64. Uh, I will need 64 smaller cubes, right? Okay, uh, and then what do I do next? Uh, so I have 11 small cubes that make up the solid figure, which is not enough. So I need to add some more to make into a, to make into a giant cube, right? So I will need to take 64 minus 11, all right? And I will get 53. So I will need to add another 53 more smaller cubes and then I will be able to form a bigger cube on the right side. So that is how I do this question. Right? So there are a few things that you must know. You must know how to count the cubes correctly and you must also understand the properties of a cube. A cube has all equal sides, all equal number, right? And, uh, and then how do you find how many more? You just have to minus to get how many more to be added. All right. So so this kind of question, if you understand, all right, if you understand this short lesson, you should be able to uh, do these kind of questions uh, easily for 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 your exam, right? So uh, so hopefully at the end of the lesson now you have a better understanding on how to uh, how to count the cubes and how to find how many more cubes to be added. So see you in our next lesson video.